These are Exmoor ponies, but this is not Exmoor, it's Lancashire, and the ponies are on the move again. Some conservationists call them the Flying Squad. This is all part of an ingenious new scheme that tackles two problems. The first is that Exmoor ponies are in danger of dying out. The other is that round here there are some rare plants that are also under threat. Now they come up with a clever idea that solves both of these problems at the same time. Exmoor ponies were the first horses in Britain. They've been here for 130,000 years, an incredibly long time. But 50 years ago, there were only 50 ponies left, and they might have died out altogether. The only reason there are any left at all is because of Exmoor enthusiasts keeping the breed alive. Come and say hello. Family have had ponies in Silverdale in Lancashire for seven years. They're besotted with the animals. Once you form a relationship with them, they, uh, they get into your blood. They work as a team, and um, I feel privileged to sort of be accepted as an almost honorary Exmoor <laughs> amongst our herd. That's right. um, they treat us uh, with respect. They're just totally brilliant ponies. They're so hardy. They make brilliant riding ponies, sure-footed, beautiful and really friendly. The other part of the jigsaw is a stretch of limestone pavement near Morecambe Bay. This is a very special but fragile landscape. The soil between the rocks when you can find it is thin and alkaline. Still, you get mosses and violets growing here, but there's a prickly problem. We're surrounded by thorny plants like brambles, like thorn scrub. They're very aggressive. They're swamping this, this fantastic area. They're shading out all the plants that we want to see here. The answer was obvious. These ponies eat thistles and brambles for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Exmoors are particularly good at conservation grazing because they have tough mouths so they can eat the rough stuff that other animals don't. Sheep and cattle can do the same job, but they don't do it quite as well. And putting the ponies on the limestone pavement has worked wonders. We're getting all the mosses, all the plants coming back in. There's wild strawberry here, there's a bit of violet down there. And that's the other really exciting thing. With the violets come the rare butterflies, the high brown fritillaries. The high brown fritillary is a nationally rare uh, butterfly. It's undergone a huge decline over the last uh, few decades. The ponies are a great success, and there's an added bonus here in that they're making pathways through the bracken areas on the site, creating good habitat for the butterflies there. And the result of it is, if you look down here, where the ponies have made a pathway through, the, the fritillary butterflies have gone, flown through, they've laid their eggs next to these uh, little patches of violets. Uh, next spring, the caterpillars will be eating those, and we'll get another generation of the high brown fritillary, all due to the ponies. And the ponies are working their wonders elsewhere. Alan Ferguson from the National Trust is recreating a traditional grassland glade in a nearby wood. They're out there grazing, they're out there browsing and nipping back of the shrubs and, and tree, tree saplings which are trying to grow into this grassland. We would lose it. I've actually seen them chew back uh, blackthorn bushes, nip, nip the blackthorn bush and actually chew it in it in their mouths. It's a tremendous thing to see you do. And um, they, they don't like eating things like heathers. They don't eat many flowers. So they actually do eat the things we want them to eat and not the things that we don't want them to eat. It's obviously been a success here, but do you think these ponies could be used elsewhere on National Trust properties? Definitely. Exmoor ponies are superb for it. They're an old breed. Uh, people like to see them. Uh, they just look superb with that fringe of, fringe of mane coming across their eyes. You've fallen in love with them, haven't you? Definitely. <laughs> superb animals. Now Exmoor ponies have a new purpose, they have a future. The demand for these ponies um, on different conservation sites throughout the country really, um, and it's a growing demand, and that's what's needed, the ponies to be bred. It's extremely exciting <laughs> to think that ponies are going to be going into the next millennium because we've got a job for them as conservation grazers. And there's more information